our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark in our obscurity in all this vastness there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves the earth is the only world known so far to harbor life there is nowhere else at least in the near future to which our species could migrate visit yes settle not yet like it or not for the moment the earth is where we make our stand do you want to talk a little bit about the earthquake system i think most people have, that's following your work know know about it from uh, landers yeah landers was a fully engineered working facility that actually did uh, pick up precursors of major earthquakes. Ironically, the first one was the Landers earthquake, uh, which if I wasn't there myself at the time, but the people that were there operating the equipment uh, gave me the, the rundown on what had transpired electrically. Uh, it started about two days beforehand, and then about 18 hours before the actual event became so severe uh, that the property owner and the operator of the equipment started making emergency telephone calls to uh, his electronics tech uh, at the marine base next door to us until finally the guy came out and uh, and determined you know that something was uh, was going on and then sure enough the next morning was the earthquake uh, the electrical activity of the earthquake was so intense that this particular technician who also at, at that time serviced uh, televisions in the town of Yucca Valley and 29 Palms had found uh, that the telluric currents had reached such a magnitude that the magnetic field resulting from those currents had permanently magnetized the shadow mass in the television picture tubes and re rendered them junk because they could not be demagnetized. Uh, the magnitude of current impulse to do that would have to be in the order of five or 10 million amps. Hmm. So I take a certain radio frequency component out of this. Uh, basically, the signals, the telluric signals themselves initially were regarded as interference, and they're a significant uh, interference impairment to Navy submarine communications, and that's kind of uh, how this whole project came about with RCA. Is this is RCA wanted me to develop a new type of communications medium for the maritime business, which I did. Uh, the telluric transmission transformer from basically Tesla's design, uh, the cosmic induction generator being two of them shorted on each other so they can't transmit but concentrate the field. So we're basically, all these projects are pretty much unified uh, on the basic electrostatic Tesla technology. So then that was the initial system at Landers. So once I had the frequencies and the time periods and everything identified, then I could start to actually engineer uh, networks to extract these frequencies and deliver them to relays or chart recorders or sounders or whatever. Plus, the sounds of the signals themselves are audible. Uh, there is a um, there is access to these sounds on a very limited basis through these special electrical electrostatic uh, amplifiers that are built by a person named Steve McGreevy who has a website on this where you can actually hear some of these earth sounds. Some of them are so fantastic they're beyond belief. I think that's the best introduction people can get. From this distant vantage point, the earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, Everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar 
every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species, lived there, on a mote of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot.